This alarms me because, I've said this before on your broadcast, but it's almost never said in the mainstream, and it's hard to get uh, an American discussion of it, is that whether we call our relationship with Russia a new Cold War or not, it certainly is. The point is, it's so much more dangerous than the preceding Cold War. I'm, I, I, I could even argue that the situation today is in some ways more dangerous than the Cuban Missile Crisis. So I kind of quarrel with your opening sentence that relations are as bad as they've been since the end of the Cold War. I say no, they're worse than they were during the Cold War. I jotted down just a few reasons. Let me just rattle them off and then we'll get to this, any other event you want to talk about. The reason this new Cold War is more dangerous is we already have three fronts that are fraught with hot war. That's the, where the NATO build up in the North Baltic and in the Black Sea, Ukraine and Syria. Uh, remember, in Syria, it appears to be the case that American proxies have already killed Russian citizens. So we don't know what's going to come next. Uh, secondly, uh, two of these fronts are directly on Russia's borders, not in Berlin, as was the case during the preceding Cold War, right on Russia's borders in the Baltic region and in Ukraine. Thirdly, there has been such a demonization of the Kremlin leader, Putin, uh, unlike anything uh, that was the case during the old Cold War with Kremlin communist leaders, and along with it, a kind of Russia, Russophobic attack on Russia itself. The old Cold War was about communism. This one seems to be about Russia, just in general. Uh, and then you get this lightning speed of news, as with this nerve agent, with people weighing in without any authority or any knowledge uh, very, very quickly. And it's spreading before anybody has, a time, has time to reflect and think an actual expert opinion come to the fore.